Hey, and welcome to another video. So, today we are going to be looking at SADP tool from uh, Hikvision. So, this is a, a very popular tool amongst installers. And what is SADP? Okay, no, we're here on Google now. Let's see what SADP says. Uh, the Search Active Device Protocol is a simple tool to design blah, blah, blah. Okay, then don't read any of that. I'll explain to you what SADP is. Basically, the reason you will use SADP is if you don't have a monitor. This is a classic, classic example for um, classic example. So what you could do is just connect your DVR, NVR to your router and you can use this bit of software on your PC to access your DVR and you don't need no monitor and you can just do everything for your PC. So it's an installer's dream tool. And how does it actually work? Okay, so it's a PC tool and it will um, look for your no local area or subnet. So you can use this providing your DVR or device is connected on the same network. Okay, but there is a little trick to get around this. So for example, you're an installer, you wanna set someone's DVR up, but you're miles away. Oh, it's okay, get them to get your PC, download some sort of uh, sharing software, like TeamViewer or something like that, and then someone can take over your PC control and then set your DVR up from wherever they are. So SADP is a really, really good tool. And it, yeah, obviously it can save you money on, on inst installations without needing a PC, uh, a monitor, providing you've got a PC. All right then, so that's a little introduction to SADP. And yeah, let me show you how to get download it. So we're on the Hikvision, we've just done a Google search SADP tool. Click on the top link and it takes you to the Hikvision website. Okay, and just download it here on the left. Agree, and then you can download it. All right, luckily I have uh, installed it earlier and we have it up here. So do a quick refresh. Okay then, so what are we gonna do today with our SADP tool? So what we've done is we've plugged in a brand new DVR, fresh out the box, okay? And it says inactive, which it should do because it's brand new. What we're gonna do is activate this DVR through SADP, and then we're gonna set the DVR up like we would do using a monitor and a mouse. So this is a, an excellent video for some of you guys out there who don't have a monitor and are really a bit stuck on how to set up their DVR. So let's show you how to do that. All right, so we click on our DVR, we're gonna update and we need to put in a password like normal. Okay. So put in your password. Channel password can be the same. Uh, might as well enable hit connect now. Do the same for verification. You can use the same as the password if you're feeling lazy. Okay, activate. Okay, we don't need that. All right then, now it's done. All right, just make sure guys that DHCP is enabled. If it's not, just click on the tick button here, put in the password and click on modify. All right, so now we see our DVR is active. Great. So the way to log on to our DVR through our PC is click on the IP address. See 1044124. Okay, great. All right, now there is one little problem. It generally is supported by Internet Explorer, which has recently not been supported by Microsoft. So, what we recommend is you, you will load up in Chrome, copy paste this address, and then load up Microsoft Edge. Okay, so Microsoft Edge is the latest browser from uh, Microsoft, and it works perfectly with, with this tool. So we put it in here, and now we can log into our camera. So literally use the same uh, password you just typed in, and uh, it sh it should, the username should be admin, if you haven't changed it. Okay, oh. okay, now we're logged into our DVR yeah, using our PC. Okay, great. So here's a typical menu. And what you see is it basically all the settings you could do on your DVR practically is here. So let's just see if we can get a camera up. Okay, down here you can see play, start all live view. Great. Now this is familiar to some people so just like your DVR okay we've got one camera plugged in viewing live great uh, we can make it mainstream give it slightly better quality uh, actually looks a bit worse but yeah uh, now you could do playback um, obviously we haven't set up the hard drive yet but we could do that 
um, and you've got the configuration. A lot of stuff here in configuration. What I'm going to do, guys, is just do use some basic setups for the DVR. But um, there's so much here that you guys, you guys can play around with it. And if you've got any questions, obviously, just ask us a question through the through YouTube and we'll happily reply. All right, so first things first, you might want to set up your time. So we set it to London time, NTP. That uh, means it does it automatically. And we can enable daylight savings time. Okay. Uh, well, you guys can set that up later yourself. So we just click on save. Oh, okay then. So it won't let us uh, edit, set, set up NTP right now. That's all right. We just do manual time for now. Uh, 1.13. Okay. Okay. So that's our time set. All right then. And obviously you can mess around with the camera parameters here. So image, you got your basic image, brightness, all that stuff here. Uh, video audio. This is how you could change your megapixel. You could turn audio on and off. You change the bit rates. Okay. Okay, we can't do that. Um, event here is where you can set your motion detection just like normal. You've got smart events too, all on here. And storage. So this is uh, your hard drive. So I'm guessing you guys already installed your hard drive. You can see here. Okay. To, if you've just put in a brand new hard drive and then setting up your DVR this way, you might want to quickly format your hard drive. Format hard drive. Yes, please. Okay. Now it's quickly formatting it. Yeah. So... That's how you use our Hikvision DVR. Yeah, use it without having to have a monitor using the SADP tool through PC. So I hope you guys learned something and hopefully save you a bit of money and time as well. So please uh, feel free to get in contact with us if you need anything else. And yep, see you next time. Cheers, bye.